what is the value of k give it that you have k to the power of 32 equals k to the power of 2 to the power of k so from here let's try to eliminate this k by taking the power of both sides by k so here will be k to the power of 32 then let's put them in parentheses then to the power of 1 divided by k equals 2 to the power of k then in parentheses to the power of 1 divided by k then let us recall that when we have a to the power of n and parentheses to the power of 1 divided by n can be simplified as a to the power of n divided by n so from here we can have this as k to the power of 32 divided by k equals 2 to the power of k divided by k k times 1 will be k divided by this k and so when this cancel out this we are going to have k to the power of 32 divided by k equals 2 again let's try to eliminate this 32 by raise the power of both sides by 1 divided by 32 so from here we are going to have k to the power of 32 divided by k then in parentheses to the power of 1 divided by 32 equals 2 to the power of 1 divided by 32 so this we can arrange this to be k to the power of 1 divided by k as this then this times this will be 32 divided by 32 equals 2 to the power of 1 divided by 32 then when this cancel out this this implies we are going to have the format k to the power of 1 divided by k equals 2 to the power of 1 divided by 32 so from here this has this look but it's not the same as this so to make sure that we have this type of look here then let's try to do some logic expression mind you one can be simplified as two divided by two so if that we can also have this expression again as two to the power of one divided by 32 and parentheses to the power of one is the same thing as this so let's substitute it here we have k to the power of one divided by k will be equals 2 to the power of 1 divided by 32 then in parentheses to the power of 2 divided by 2 because we have 1 here and 2 divided by 2 equals 1 so again when we have a to the power of n in parentheses to the power of n we can have this as a or here is b we can have this as a to the power of m then divided by b to the power of n so from here we can have this as k to the power of 1 divided by k will be equals 2 to the power of from here 2 in parentheses then to the power of 32 times 2 so from here when we have 2 to, about 2 to the power of 2 is 4 so here will be k to the power of 1 divided by k equals 4 to the power of 1 divided by 32 times 2 will give us 64 so from here again we can have this as 1 and this can also be simplified as 4 to the power of 1 divided by 64 then to the power of 2 divided by 2 it give us 1 so we have here again to be k to the power of 1 divided by k will be equals 4 to the power of 2 as this and parentheses to the power of 1 divided by 64 times 2 so from here 
we are going to have this expression again to be k to the power of 1 divided by k 4 to the power of 2 simply means 16 so here will be 16 to the power of 1 divided by 2 times 4 will give us 8 2 times 6 will give us 12 so we have 16 to the power of 1 divided by 28 this look is not the same thing as this because we have k k here but we have 16 here we have 128 here they are not the same but we can also rewrite this expression here as 16 to the power of 1 divided by 128 to the power of 2 divided by 2 so from here we have k to the power of 1 divided by k will be equals 16 to the power of 2 when we arrange this term then we also have it as 120 1 divided by 128 times 2 times this 2 then we have this as when we have 16 to the power of 2 simply means 16 to the power of 3 equals 16 times 16 and when we have this as 6 as this 16 times 16 6 times 6 will give us 36 we have here to be 6 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3 we have it to be so we have this to be 9 so from here 1 times 6 will give us 6 1 times 1 will give us 1 so from here we have here to be 6 9 plus 6 will give us we give us 15 we write 5 1 plus 1 is 2 we have 2 5 6 so this equivalent to 2 5 6 then when we also have 128 times 2 2 times 8 is 16 we have 6 we take 1 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 will be 5 2 times 1 is 2 we have here to be 2 5 6 again then meaning that here also will be 1 divided by 2 5 6 now me looking at this k to the power of 1 divided by k equivalent to 2 5 6 to the power of 1 divided by 2 5 6 and they have the same look they have the same look even when you cancel this they have the same look so therefore since they have the same look we can equate either either of the one whether the power or the base so therefore k will now be equals 256 so we are new here and you find this video interesting don't forget to share like comment and subscribe to our youtube channel for more math tutorial videos and here are the steps now to check we have k to be equals 256 so from here we have 256 to the power of 32 then is it going to give us 2 to the power of 256 let's see from here we can have this as 16 to the power of 2 give us 256 then to the power of 32 then is it going to be equals 252 to the power of 256 so from here we can also have this as 2 to the power of 4 2 to the power of 4 to this to the power of 2 again to the power of 32 then it's going to give us 2, two to the power of 256 so we have this to be 8 times 32 then is it going to be equals 200 and 
2 to the power of 256. 8 times this will be 2 to the power of 8 times 2 will be 16. We have 6. We take 1. 8 times 3 is 24. Plus 1 will be 25. 2 to the power of 256 equals 2 to the power of 256. Now, the left hand side equals to the right hand side, and this implies k equals 256. Satisfy the problem given to us. If you are new here, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Bye bye.